So when we purchased the property, the tree line came almost all the way out to the road. But in preparation for the power lines that they put in, they hydrox or they mulch the tree line to move it back to create room for the power poles and the power lines. In doing so, it created a lot of mulch, a lot of debris that filled in the ditches alongside the road. And so we took the tractor and uh, made the ditches or cleaned out the ditches so that we would get good drainage or water flow in case of heavy rains. Hurricane season is getting ready to start in Texas. So we decided we should dig the ditches out just to make sure that we can handle a good rain without washing out the driveways. So Sean has spent the last couple hours just digging through the trenches from Cameron's property to ours. And now he's just back dragging the mounds so that it doesn't look as, as clunky. But this will make a huge difference when it comes to the next rain. create a burn pile on the new lot and then maybe do a food plot over here to help our wildlife friends. Really, I think Sean's just playing on the tractor. This might take a while, but we'll get her done. So we're using the box blade like a rake. We're just testing it out to see how it does. There's a lot of tree debris and stuff because this used to be completely full of trees. 
that were cleared out and we're just trying to see if the box blade will basically rake all this up and move it into a pile. I am thinking that I would like to add a rake attachment to the tractor in the future to make this job go quicker and easier. But again, I don't know that that's the solution at this point, but that's what we're doing here. Look at that fine woman right there. She's got her sexy shirt on. Sun's coming up over the trees there. The temperature is absolutely beautiful for late May. It's probably in the 60s. Feels fantastic. There's Bella, she came out to supervise. And Tony's staining the post because we haven't had enough fun staining over the last few weeks. We just really haven't. She wants to do some more. looking pretty good there, dear. Thank you. I think it's going to be pretty. Bella, your opinion? She just, she, she just keeps looking at the one that's unfinished. <laughs> Thanks. I like it. Here is the before. Here is the after. And you there. You can go with this or you can go with that. And there's the supervisor still hard at work. Good news is, she's not barking yet. You're doing a fine job, dear. You're so kind. To our male viewers out there, if you know any way to win an argument with your wife, you have any tips or tricks, please feel free to submit them in the comments below. That'd be greatly appreciated because I lose 99.9% .9 of our discussions, not really an argument, it was a discussion. Because I'm right 99.9%. .9%. I can't help it that you have a bad track record and you're wrong that often. But the female perspective doesn't necessarily make it right in the entire universe. Mm, it does. Happy wife, happy life. Am I right? You're right. Okay, so there you go. But... And again, I win the argument! Woo! Score one for wives everywhere. Crap. <laughs> anyway, back to the posts. <laughs> the posts are done with the first coats. They look absolutely phenomenal. I like it. So we'll let this dry and I'm going to go work on the shower. Yay. Um, and then we'll come back and see if I can second coat them before we leave today. Bella, did mom do a good job? Fair to Midland. Oh, fair to Midland. She's so funny. I closed the gate to get this picture, but she won't go back to the other side of the gate. Oh, oh, she's gonna do it. Oh, 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 she did it. She did it. She wouldn't, she wouldn't go under the gate earlier because the gate was closed. It needed to be open. Oh my gosh, I like it a lot. Looks fantastic. Great work, dear. Now she's off to do the shower and I've got a plumbing drain I need to get under the cabin to fix. Do you think you're a princess? Do you think that you need to be carried up the steps every time? Well, this princess does. And you know what? What's pathetic is she gets her way. There you go, Bella. You're welcome. So Tony decided she hadn't had enough of uh, staining. So she is uh, now staining the outdoor shower and she just said she is having so much fun. Fun is probably not the word I'm gonna use to describe it, but it has to get done, so it's gonna get done. Painfully, slowly, meticulously. <laughs> Getting done. You ever asked yourself, why do plumbers make so much money? It's more than just their adorable plumber's crack that they display to the world. 
It's because they have to climb into crappy spots. And this one is relatively nice. Oh, crappy, no pun intended. Because uh, this one's easy to get to, and I think this sucks. Uh, we have a pipe here, not, uh, not glued on very well, so we're going to fix that. If you can see that. We've got to put this pipe back up in that hole. And then I've got to put a new 45 down here to go back in that hole. Every amateur plumber needs a supervisor and a helper. Hey, Bella. Is it right? Does that look better? Huh? No. I'm no plumber, but hopefully that does the trick. Now we just got to put some marks on here so I can line it up again. And glue that bad boy up there. All right, second coat done on the gate. Sean will take you over to see the shower. I'm gonna go clean up because I look like a friggin' Oompa Loompa. Hoping this comes off. One of the things that I hate about stain is that it shows all the imperfections. And I'm not a perfectionist, but I don't like it when. What? All my, I don't like all the flaws what? jumping no, out. No, what did you say about imperfection? What? I'm, I'm not, look at me, I'm not a perfectionist, <laughs> but I do like things done right. So when you have things like paint, you can paint right over it and cover it up and it's good. With stain, you can't. And so, ugh. But that's okay. We're good. We're living on the ranch. Life is good. I'm done. I'm done. Regardless if there's flaws or not, I'm done. So go take a look at the shower and please don't judge harshly. <laughs> well, come on. Let's go take a look at the shower. I think I ruined my good shirt. I'm sad. <laughs> All right, so Tony's uh, picking up her her stuff there, but there's the outdoor shower with the coat of mahogany flame on it. It's pretty. It looks really nice. She worked her behind off on it today. There's the inside. Our little bench cubby. We took the lights off to stain it. It's around the, the mechanical side of it. Looks really good. Job well done, babe. Thank you, thank you. We just got here and it's dark, but we couldn't resist getting the new solar lights on the post. So, all right, Sean wanted to get these lights put on the post real quick this morning. I really just think he's trying to procrastinate painting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is sticking out. Hold on. You can see the sun just starting to come up. It is early, early, early. I'd rather be sleeping in still, but our uh, grandson, Sir Kevin here, he was ready to get up and get going. He's a good boy, huh, buddy? It looks pretty. I think the dog farted. I know, it smells. <laughs> Holy cow, Dad. Dude. Oh, you ought to go see a doctor and get that checked out. Looks pretty. I love in the morning when the sun comes up and the light starts to shine through the trees. It's just pretty. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and go have adventure of your own. Bye.